So the GTA 6 hype continues to grow despite any release dates or announcement made by Rockstar Games, but due to the increasing amount of DMs that I'm getting about this game over on Twitter, I thought it would be best to make a video for you guys explaining all of the bits and bobs of information that I've heard on this game. And what I will say before we do get into this video is that of course, I'm not known for GTA leaks, this is just something that has fallen on my lap and I've heard rumblings behind the scenes for the past couple of years, but I'm not known for GTA 6 leaks and I am not a data miner when it comes to any sort of game. So please bear that in mind, take all of this information with a grain of salt, but just due to the high amount of DMs that I'm getting about this game, I thought it would be best to make my own video, give you guys all of the bits and bobs of information that I've personally been told about this game, and you should always take this information with a grain of salt. Now the other reason why I'm not covering this game to a high capacity is because, well, I still think we're several years away from this game releasing. Now I did say that it seems like we was going to get GTA 6 around about 2023-2024 and that date might be a little premature but we'll get into that information as we continue this video. So yes, First of all, let's get into the game itself. Now, I have heard all of the rumblings these past couple of years about the GTA 6 Project Americas leak, in which stated that the game is going to be a 90s, 80s theme and will contain some kind of Vice City remaster. Now, what I will say about that is that what I've personally been told is that this game is going to be a modern GTA title. Now, the reason for the modern title over, say, the 1980s title that was rumoured is because of one major thing and that is GTA Online. GTA Online is of course Rockstar's biggest asset generating billions of dollars since its release and I've been told that the modern title is just to fit in with GTA Online and give the developers as much freedom as possible to release as many different DLCs as possible. I would imagine, just talking off the top of my head, that yes, a 1980s title might restrict the developers in some capacity when it comes to that GTA Online content. Now, as for the map itself, Vice City Remastered has been trending ever since these leaks started, and I have also been told that Vice City will be coming to the game in some capacity, but the map itself isn't as big as all of the leagues are making them out to be. Now, to be brutally honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure what that could mean, but what I was told when it comes to the map and GTA Online is that essentially it's going to be an evolving map that could change every time a new DLC is released. Now, of course, we are very early in development and I can't comment on stuff like how the DLCs are going to work and if there's going to be a battle pass and stuff like that. But what I was told is that there will be additions made to the map, including new areas and even expanding the map in some capacity, but also the map that is default, so to speak, will also change every time a new DLC is released and this was compared a little bit to the Fortnite seasons where maybe there's a comet that crashes into the map, changes the map a little bit and it just adds to the overall GTA Online experience and I think that is a change that is going to be very cool to see within the GTA universe. Now moving on to the characters within GTA 6, yes notice that I said characters, it seems like GTA 6 will be following the same approach as GTA 5 in which multiple playable characters will be playable within this game. And as well as this, it's probably one of the more liked tweets that I got in regards to GTA 6, yes one of those characters is going to be a female character. Now I'm not entirely sure on small details such as names and stuff like that, but what I was told in regards to this female character is that she is going to be essentially the bright one in the group and be responsible for stuff such as technology and hacking, which could become of course very useful in a modern world in which hacking and computers and stuff like that uh, is a very strong asset to have. So that 
is what I was told in regards to that female character and of course she is a pretty badass because she is within the GTA universe and it seems like the character itself fits in very nicely with what they're attempting to do with GTA 6. So if you're concerned in any way that there's going to be a female character in GTA 6, then don't worry about it. It seems like Rockstar are finding the perfect balance, so to speak, with introducing this character into the universe. And to be brutally honest, I think that it is going to be a warm welcome for a lot of GTA players. Now moving on to the bits of information that are a little bit negative so to speak and that is going to be the release date of GTA 6. Now a lot of rumours out there saying 2022, 2023, I even myself have tweeted out probably 23 to 24 but I actually think that date is a little bit premature, which is something I think a lot of people are going to be upset about. Now, the reason for this isn't necessarily because the game is super early in development, but instead it's because of two different reasons. The first one being is that Rockstar Games are focusing very heavily at the moment on employee well-being, which is basically to avoid those very harsh hours that employees do face, especially when it comes to those crunch hours before a game releases, and apparently that is something that Rockstar Games have been doing now for the past 15 to 16 months, which could hinder the release date of GTA 6. As well as this, put it quite simply, they're not going to want to announce the game if they're not 100% confident that when they release that release date, that they will release it on that date they don't want to delay this game which of course is perfectly understandable now the other reason is because this game is going to release solely on the current gen consoles and the pc it will not be releasing on the past generation consoles that being the ps4 and the xbox one so if you're wondering why there might be a delay this was something that i talked about with a few different people it's because well at this particular moment in time there is a lot of shortages with the current gen consoles as i'm sure you guys are aware and to maximize sales and maximize those profits it makes sense to release the game when there is a big enough market for it of course it could be 2023 24 in which the market is big enough but if those other reasons don't fall into place then of course they're just going to release it around about 2025 20, or something like that i don't have a precise release date in mind but if you're expecting to play this game in the next couple of years I would definitely put your expectations in check because I don't think we're seeing this until around about 2024 to 2025. Now, as well as this, of course, another big reason is because, well, GTA 5 is just a powerhouse at the moment. Hundreds of thousands of people every single day are still playing GTA 5 and GTA Online on the PC, and that does not include all of the other consoles that this game is on and to put it simply they're pretty much outselling even AAA titles that released a couple of months ago so it makes no sense for them to release GTA 6 when GTA 5 and GTA Online is doing incredibly well so that is pretty much all of the major bits of information I can give you guys at this moment in time of course I've been putting out some tweets and some hints over on Twitter about small details such as cryptocurrency so one of those tweets said that yes there is a plan to incorporate some kind of cryptocurrency into GTA Online as a virtual currency. Now don't get this mixed up, this does not mean that you're going to be able to have GTA coins on Binance, for example, and trade it for real world money, but it's just going to be another aspect of GTA in which you're going to be able to get mission rewards and stuff like that and even possibly some storylines around cryptocurrency in some capacity of course if this does end up being a modern GTA title it's pretty hard to avoid cryptocurrency when you're talking large crimes as well as this I also hinted at some wingsuits and some other bits of information 
over on Twitter. Uh, so if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, my link will be down in the description below and you can do that. And I, I tend to reply to people with little bits of information that I, I hear here and there and stuff. So, so if you guys want to do that, that would be greatly appreciated. But yes, like I said at the beginning of this video, I am not known for GTA leaks. My sources, so to speak, might be a little less reliable than that of Call of Duty and Battlefield, for example. But nonetheless, you should always take leaks with a grain of salt, especially when it comes to a game that we might not be seeing for another four years now. So please do take the information with a grain of salt. And well, if all of this information turns out to be true, I can, of course, bring you guys a lot more GTA information in the future. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video as that. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I've been Tom. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.